and dollar analysis uh, fairly simple format we look at the charts open interest and fi di data then we try to figure out what exactly the market is going to do in the next few days right this is not a show which is about prediction this is about reaction uh, we can't really predict where the market will go we can only make a likely bet on where the market might go and react when it actually happens also uh, this show does not depend on anything like microeconomic analysis or macroeconomic analysis or global output or anything. It just looks at charts and data because we truly believe that uh, somebody out there knows something that we don't and whatever they are doing is reflected in the charts and data. Right. So on that prelude, let's get started with <clears throat> Calagra market. There is uh, some kind of a viral going around so please take care guys it usually takes you down for around five six days plenty of my colleagues have got it um yeah but anyway so so here's the thing right let's look at what we said in the last uh this thing we said that nifty can test the bottom of the channel plus 100 em at around 9400 that could be a support we also said bank nifty is drifting close to the bottom of the channel at the 50 DMA. that could be a support um we said there is plenty of resistance about 9600 we said FII data was bearish. We said Nifty is likely to take 19400 and take support here. If 19400 holds, expect bounce back in the channel. Uh, and if it 9400 uh, does not hold, uh, futures with tight Excel or bull call spread worse if it uh, hold, if it breaks and confirms short futures again with tight Excel. Right. So now, I don't know, but I think this was useless advice because it's very difficult on that day. See, you could have played it till 19400. No questions asked, right? Because there was a nice entry. Up at, it, it, it gave you an entry around 19520 plus. So there was a 100 point play for sure till 19400, right? But after 19400, it did not hold at all. It just sank like a Led Zeppelin. And, uh, you know, that the problem is, uh, uh, yeah, the trend was tradable. But after 19400, it took some massive amount of, uh, you know, guts to stay long on that thing now i know that the 100 dma is gone and i know that uh the smaller channel which we had drawn like this is broken and the middle of the channel uh, so this was our earlier channel we had connected this um uh, this and so basically i'll just zoom in on the earlier channel we had a channel like this that channel and the 100 dma both got taken out on the same day so i know uh, we are expecting some massive bearishness but i'm here to give you an alternative perspective so what i have done is i've connected this bottom right uh, one second i've connected this bottom this bottom and connected this top this top this top this top is not connected so the thing interesting thing is that once so because our existing channel system is gone i was looking for another channel and i realized that the small channel we had drawn is actually the middle of this system right which we'll use as a reference for some days now the catch is it seems like the middle of this channel is gone the new channel which is the bottom of the old channel right because ultimately this thing you are seeing is a subset of that thing now the 100 dma is gone this looks like it's gone so there is plenty of scope to believe on that particular day on tuesday that it's not a good idea to be long right even now it doesn't make sense to be long at this level but this is what it looks like so daily candle big maribozu taken out the 100 dma and looking bearish right so i'll just write it out daily candle big red maribozu below 100 dma now comes bank nifty daily candle right now comes bank nifty so here's the interesting thing bank nifty we had this channel going uh, uh since the last few days so we are basically sorry i'll just connect this correctly just moved a little bit
So same story in Bank Nifty. The channel is broken. There's a big red candle which has broken the channel. So let me write it down again. But here's the interesting thing. Bank Nifty is hitting the 200, hitting the 200 DMA. Bank Nifty is interestingly taking support at the 200 DMA. This is a very significant statement because 200 DMAs are usually considered a very strong supports. So as you can see now, we have hit the 200 DMA and it is right here, right? So Nifty looks like the channel is gone, middle of the channel is gone. Um, Bank Nifty, 200 DMA. So it is the obvious trade to do here is short, but I'm just giving you counterpoints to be cautious here. Now Nifty has a gap between this level and this level, right? There is a gap here, uh, 100 point gap. Usually, traditionally, gaps are supposed to be supports. This gap has held before at 92.33, twice, one, two, three, you can see gaps. So even if you're shorting, please be mindful of this gap. The gap exists. I'm not saying gap will act as a support or not act as a support, but I'm saying that you have to be careful about this gap. Bank Nifty, it looks like everything is gone, but please keep, be careful about the 200 DMA. So basically the headline is simple. 100 DMA is gone, middle of the channel is broken in Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty, again, headline is simple. It seems like a huge, in fact, I could even say this is an engulfing candle, not fully engulfing, but you know, kind of engulfing. Um, and it has broken the channel, but there's a 200 DMA here, right? Interestingly, dollar seems to have taken direction and for the first time in a really, really long time, dollar has broken below 83. Dollar had never gone below 83 in the last 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 20 odd sessions it had never gone below 83. Today for the first time in overseas market, we are seeing a dollar trade below 83. Right? So I'll just uh, dollar <coughs> trading below 83 right now let's look at open interest chart uh, no surprises everybody unwound calls everybody added puts again no surprises but interestingly 19400 is a resistance 500 600 everything is a resistance this is a little bit of a no man's land there are no strong resistances so 9300 is not like a mega resistance uh, 400 is a real resistance so wherever we are right now is a little bit of a no man's land it's not properly bullish or bearish. 0 0.7 is neutral, um, but above 19,400, lot of resistance. Right? FI option data through some bit of a surprise. FI sold 27k calls, but they sold 1.15 L. 1.15 L puts sold. This is a uh, bit bullish, right? Or it could even be neutral uh, because uh, they are not seeing further downsides, possibly, possibly, right? Now, FI futures OI 90.5K, which is very, very negative. And they sold uh, 300 crores. Like bearish 250 crore buy for the first. This is a little bit of a surprise. If I bought day before yesterday and yesterday on Friday session and Monday session, so 250 crore buy, but it is insignificant. Now, <clears throat> I know on um, Thursday uh, night we had said that. If uh, 9400 breaks uh, short futures, and yes, if probably since there's no target defined, some of you might be holding the short. Uh, but I'll tell you what, right? If you are short futures, you have to be careful about one thing. If Nifty is able to come back above this uh, middle of the trend line and 
you know let's say go to around 9400 territory and close above 9400 territory then for all you know this could be a fake out i mean i'm saying that see fake outs you can't assume normally that things are fake outs you have to always assume that they are actual movements but you have to be careful in determining when should i start doubting a breakdown right so this is a breakdown but if we have a bounce and we close above 19400 then technically technically um, we can see a reversal so uh, nifty um will be bearish below or let me write this down right 19400 is a make or break point if it is uh, so basically uh, if 19400 gets tested from below or let me just magnify and explain so here we are right let's say this bounces up and then it gives go somewhere near here and yaha pe wapas selling aata hai then you can even expect a move to 18600 right i would not be surprised right if but but the flip side is if nifty bounces back into this channel right then for all you know we could again be seeing new highs but basically this level is make or break right this 100 dma plus 9400 so <clears throat> sell if it stays below 19400 sell on dips sorry sell on optics if 19400 and 100 dma <coughs> if above 19400 and 100 dma then market can turn right so basically this is what it looks like for me ultimately the catch is we have to see if this stays below 9400 because there is a possibility that things could it could have been a, a fake out anyway we thought 9400 will be tested that got tested it fell some more 100 odd points from there 100 odd point is around half a percent so we have to be careful if this sustains if it sustains we could very well be looking at nifty going way below somewhere in this 18600 uh, 18600 yeah 18 i don't know why i said 18600 it could even be 18300 and 18350 could also happen right i mean basically it can fall quite a bit if it stays below is what i mean so um, not a good time to enter longs unless you see a bounce and staying about 9400 and 200 ma 100 ema but if it breaks we can see 18 you know 300 even getting tested right um, let's look at the <coughs> monthly candle and daily candle sorry weekly candle weekly candle no surprises big but it's just one day of trading so not a good idea to jump into a conclusion this is interesting the monthly candle of nifty is uh, green red green red showing plenty of indecision but nothing majorly coming up we will have to watch for the end of the month to have some decisive idea here but if of course um, if it falls further this can be a red marubozu and that could be tricky but one thing we have to notice here is that at the end of the day the open minus close of uh, this month is around some so 19600 is uh, or let me just oh, one second yeah so if you look at it the ohlc right you can see the ohlc on the screen above the open was around 1962 the close is around <coughs> 9257 so we are in a relatively narrow range around 450 points so that is something to watch out for uh, so net net my verdict is that uh it's it, as long as it is below 19400 it might just make sense to sell on dips below 19400 if it crosses and stays above 19400 then and only then it makes sense to long but below 19400 it looks like nifty is headed for further lows and the only thing you have to care, be careful in your shots on that journey down is the fact that there is a gap here 
which was uh, which can act as a support this with this gap right we never had this gap filling or breaching it has always held as a support so in your short trade the only thing you have to be careful is will this gap act as a support but otherwise seems like uh, it is a um seems like unless we bounce back and hold it could be a uh uh shorting time right but you have to be careful about this gap again i'm stressing this again because it's easy to jump on to a shorting trade at the fine first sign of a breakdown maybe it's not a good idea to jump in first we'll see how it acts if it goes up again and starts falling down again then you can uh sell on the uptick right it's a much easier thing to do than sell here right uh look at the price action if it goes up and then starts going down again we can sell and as far as bank nifty is concerned please be careful of the 200 dma 200 dmas have a tendency to uh, give a bounce uh, so that is that right now let me quickly uh, so trades uh, i am not doing anything till i get clarity only because bank nifty is putting a shadow of doubt in my head <clears throat> another thing of course is because we are nearing the expiry right if this we don't know if these short oi will be rolled over or not that's another thing we have to be watch, watch out for let me quickly go through some chats Soldier Boy is saying tomorrow market will be a gap up, possibly. Nanda is saying sell on rise. Yeah, Nanda, I think it is sell on rise too. Uh, Manoj, then Nifty stays about 9400 till everyone turns bullish. <laughs> Phillips is saying free water dipping back. Oh my God. Yeah, I'll, I'll do something about it. Uh, US market is positive. Uh, yeah, no more comments. I think today is a holiday, so people are on leave mode also. So anyway, this is our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining. Until we meet again, please.